Hi guys, so I'm happy to be back. I'm doing um, a video real quick. I'm going to shampoo my hair and show you how to detangle it. But I'm going to um, go in more in depth into my regimen. Um, if you watch the video, my product update of all the products that I use, this video is separate. So this is my regimen and what I basically do. I'm not going to show any products since I have the product video up. I'm going to take down the other one I had because it's not effective. This is my current 2011 slumber slash video that I do for the summer. I know it's kind of late, but these are just all the products that I use so far. My hair is, I just washed my hair, so that's why if it looks all crazy, that's why I am. This is a perfect time to show you guys my hair in its natural state um, without any product in it. Um, I do, I'm going to start off with this pretty simple. So, a lot of you guys see the um, Ocean Bar that I use, which is this bar right here. I'm just going to say that I shampoo my hair once a week, not twice like everybody else. I just do it once a week, and I use about this much, which is not a lot, and I put it in this little container and I add water, and if I want to add some type of peppermint oil, I can, but that's only if I can I do that once a week to make sure I get any product off my hair. I do advise, just like I said in the video, you need to apple cider vinegar rinse to wipe any of the extra stuff off because when you use low poo bars, you do get some type of dullness to your hair after you use them for a while. After a extended period of time, your hair does not do like it did the first time you use it. So I do advise you apple cider vinegar rinse. If you want to switch out the shampoos, um, with another sodium sulfate free shampoo that's not a poo bar, you can. But I'm not advising that. I'm just advising you to go out and get some apple cider vinegar rinse. If you're going to use a poo bar and apple cider vinegar rinse, you can do it right after you shampoo or you can do it the following week. But um, that's just the best thing so your hair can spring back to get any of that, that stuff off of your scalp. And um, apple cider vinegar rinse is really great for the summer, especially with all the heat and the sweat. This actually does help your scalp. Now, um, some people may disagree with me using it twice a month, but this is how I do my hair. But that's just my best advice. If that doesn't work and there's another better method with the poo bar, please leave a message in the comments box down below. Um, as far as co-washing, I co-wash my hair when needed. Whenever I need to co-wash, I co-wash with any of those conditions that I do use. Now, I do use herbal essence, but I'm getting rid of that when I'm mailing it to my cousin. So, that's why it's not in the video. If you ever see me with a video with the herbal essence, even a small one, I'm trying to get rid of it. But it's not going to be part of my permanent routine. I know a lot of naturals use it. Relaxed people use it. But, on to the next. They have discontinued it. I um, don't need to be going out buying discontinued products. So, I need to find something that works and move on. I do like it, but I'm trying to move on to something different. That's just the only thing I have to say about that. As far as deep conditioning, I deep condition my hair on regular twice a week. On Sunday when I shampoo and then on Wednesday, which is the middle of the week. Because of the heat, it's just too much. The, the heat will dry your hair out and I think that you need to, in my personal opinion, step up your deep conditioning game and throw that extra day in there because that will save your hair. It's too hot, too much on your hair not to be letting that your hair get the moisture and let it be you know through your core of your hair to rehydrate your hair because it's 100 degrees it's 90 degrees like every day back to back and especially because I'm a cook because so I work in these hot buildings your hair is going to dry out from the inside out no joke I mean all the water in the world is not going to help if you I mean I'm just saying that's me so that's what helps me keep my hair from drying out and being a brittle mess now, as far as protein treatments, I do, which I did not say that at the end of the video, catch me saying what I do, but um, in case you didn't see this video and you watched that one and didn't see this one, I did say it at the end of the video, um, deep conditioning. But protein-wise, I do it twice a month. I have to do it. Um, curly hair is a little bit different. Um, it does help my hair. I do a light one because it does help bring back the curls because all that washing and water and moisturizing especially with curly hair you need that protein to put the, the spring hair back your hair is not going to do like it do it will become somewhat frizzy and a mess 
if you do not do that protein treatment, I'm telling you guys, you need to do that. And that helps my hair a lot, which I'm going to do that Wednesday. Um, I do do hot oil treatments. I mainly do hot oil treatments with avocado oil and mango macadamia oil. And those are the two that I do regularly. Those are two oils that have been working pretty great. I put that on overnight. That's the extra treatment I do, especially if it's like 90 degree weather. My hair is just, is, it's just too, that's the extra treatment I do. And I rinse my hair out. I add a little bit of conditioner, rinse that out, and then I style my hair. That's the extra deep conditioner. If I do any extra deep conditioning during the week, besides my regular two deep conditioning treatments, I do that to spring my hair back because of the heat as well. I do do a um, honey rinse on my hair, which some people say add water. I just take the honey and I run it all the way through my hair. Try not to get it on your scalp. Some people, um, like I said, if you don't want to do that, you can put it in some water and loosen it up just enough where you can get it all over your hair. But I put it all over my hair, cold the strand of my hair, take a little bit of water, rinse my hands with it to spread it out evenly on my hair. Now, if you want a video on that, please post a comment. But um, that's basically what I do to my hair. As far as leave-ins, I, um, I use any of the leave-ins and then I add some oil and I use some styling cream to lock everything in. Everything I use is moisturizing, so I'm not going to add something to my hair that's going to be drying in any way, sort of form. It's too hot for that. Like I keep it alliterating, you need to use something moisturizing. Please do not be fooled. Research people, please not put that on your hair and think your hair is going to seem moisturized, but it's not. You need something to help with the hair. Um, so that's basically what I do do. Now, if anyone is out there, you see this video in your natural, and you ask me about the dew points and the, the humidity and all this stuff with glycerin in it, I do not know that. I'm just letting everybody know I do use product with glycerin in it and these um, humectic products that attract the air, I do not have problems with them and I have not noticed any problem with my hair. My hair is short, so somebody of longer hair may have a problem with them, but I don't. So, that's just me. That's you know, When the day comes and I have problems with the humectants and using anti-humectic products and humidity and blowing up my hair, I will post a video. But, I want to let that be known if anyone does see this video and ask me the breakdown about that. I do not know anything about that. I've read some stuff on the internet, but I cannot tell you if it has affected my hair because my hair is short and I really don't think it would do that much to this. Like, my hair is not going to blow up. My hair is not going to blow up. I'm just saying. So, does anybody want to know on that one? That's the only thing I have to say. But, that's everything that goes into my regimen. Um, I do oil my scalp um, with as needed with oil mix. If you want a video of how I mix my oils, please put a comment. But that's basically it. I do oil my scalp um, as needed with the oils that are showed in my product video. So please watch the video. That way I don't have to make another video. But other than that, that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later.